I, for one, am moving on from fake news. There's a new phrase in town, a new lingo with which to familiarize yourself. Fake laws. That's what I said. Fake laws. This is not about taking sides. Whether you are left, right, independent, or agnostic, respect for our laws is essential. They are not fake. We are a nation of laws. Now, Senators Kamala Harris, Kirsten Gillibrand, Cory Booker, ironically, all three eyeing the 2020 presidential run, and the left insist that ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement, be abolished. The call was wrapped up this week when Harris asserted that ICE is perceived as the modern-day Ku Klux Klan. Take a look as she grills acting director of ICE, Ronald Vidiello. Right. Are you aware of the perception of um, many about w how the, the, the power and the discretion at ICE is being used to enforce the laws? And do you see any parallels? I do not see any parallels between sworn I'm talking about perception. officers and agents. I'm talking about perception. I, I do not see a parallel between what is constitutionally mandated as it, as it relates to enforcing the law. Are you aware that there's a rights. perception? I see no are you aware that there's a that perception? That puts ICE in the same category as the KKK. Since when are carrying out the duties of law enforcement akin to acting like a Klansman? Since when are men and women, to whom we give badges and guns, who uphold the law and put their lives on the line, considered domestic terrorists? Since when do we persecute people for doing the job the law empowers them to do? Perception is one thing, but laws passed by Congress, signed by the Commander-in-Chief, are reality. Irrespective of our like or dislike of a law, no one can choose to ignore the law. The law is meant to be followed and enforced. Kamala, you were a prosecutor and attorney general. You enforced the law by prosecuting those who didn't follow it. I doubt you asked the accused about their perception of the law, and I doubt you even cared. In fact, when you ran for Senate, you promised to, quote, combat transnational gangs, working with Mexico to prevent them from bringing guns and drugs across our border, to fight human trafficking, and to improve public safety. How are you going to do that without ICE? Who are you going to call? Ghostbusters? Was the con then, or is the con now? As someone who claims to champion minority communities, you know they are the ones most impacted by drug cartels and gangs coming through our porous border. Between 2017 and 2018, ICE seized more than 368,000 pounds of drugs and made almost 5,000 drug arrests. ICE made more than 1,700 arresting gang investigations, including MS-13 members. More than 430 criminal arrests in child exploitation, exploitation investigations, rescuing hundreds of child victims. And you want to oppose ICE? You call them like KKK? If you don't like a law, Kamala, there's a process to change it. And here's the rub. You can change it. As a United States senator, work within the framework of the exalted position to which you were elected. Sponsor a bill, get support for the bill, and get it passed. Don't gin up people into a frenzy, suggesting ICE is like the KKK with images of burning crosses and lynchings of innocent African Americans. In uh, likening it to innocent Mexicans and Central Americans. You of all people should understand the anger and hate that that conjures up. As a woman who's half African American, you of all people should understand the history and the role of the KKK played through the Democrat Party. So let me see if I get this right. ICE should be eliminated because it scares people people who have broken our laws to come here. Many have already exhibited violence along the way, in Tijuana and Guatemala. 
mostly men demanding entrance as if they're entitled to be here. What you're doing is planting seeds of fear, resistance, and resentment against ICE among people who have no right to come here, who've already broken our laws to get here. And they're scared. People should be afraid when they violate our laws. The people, though, who should be afraid are innocent Americans at risk in sanctuary cities and states where illegals, who are also criminals, are given safe haven. Your con puts those American citizens in jeopardy. How about a little dose of reality, Kamala, and not your perception nonsense? Take a look at these pictures. Kate Steinle, Molly Tibbetts, Neeson Mickens, Kyla Cuevas, and the scores of American citizens killed by illegals. Your perception of ICE as a KKK is pure insanity. This is America. The law is the law. Respect it. Honor it. Fear it. Damn it. Fear it. Any questions? And that's my open. If you like my opening statements, you'll love my new book, New York Times number one bestseller, Liars, Leakers, and Liberals, The Case Against the Anti-Trump Conspiracy.